Ah, got you. So. <laughs> I'm Eric Russell. I am out and about at Richmond Triangle, Triangle Players production of I Have My Holiday Cheer that, in right. my hold that for just a moment because I might have had just a little holiday cheer too much. Who's holiday with Kimberly Jones Clark? How are you doing tonight? I'm doing very well, thank you. Well, thank you for being here. And, oh, well, thank you for having well, me. Who cheer? Mm. Yeah, oh, it matches your hair. All right, Dahudore, hey, Dahudore. Dahudore, is and all, whatever the fuck that is. Exactly. <laughs> so let's talk about. This is Cindy Lou Who many, many years after the Grinch? Yeah, this is after she's... I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> she's had a tough life, you know, but she still has that spark in her heart that she has hope and wants to see the love and the light in the world. She has to go through a lot to get to that point, though. We all do. Yeah. How is this Cindy Lou Who different from the one you portrayed a couple years ago? Because it's the second time This Cindy. This one's different because... Oh well, my God, she talks a lot more because it's a longer show. Right. And so rhymes. there's a lot more words and rhymes. Is that hard to do the whole rhyming piece? You know, here's the cool thing about this script is that a lot of it is pulled from the original one. Right. So that was like, okay, just muscle memory that came back. But there are times, if, if I've had a little too much of this before show, that I'm out on stage and it just goes, it's not coming, so I'll moment. just try to fumble and come up with something of my own to make it work. There you but go. It's, you know, when you're by yourself, nobody really knows, so it's okay. It's like they don't, they won't know. They're like, that's a, that's the a great thing about live theater. Though. Exactly. That's what makes it so a live thing and such a great thing. It is, but you know when they can tell that I've messed up is when I pause a minute and then all the sweat starts beating and <laughs> then they you go, can, oh, you she see screwed like, up. The grind, gears are grinding, going. Yeah, and they're like, word, oh, something. Look where at am sweat. I in the show? Oh, oh. But I think we've all been there in a show. You have that moment, whether it's a song where you're going, I, la la la, la and you make up the words. Something, or someone turns two pages in a song, going, we're not in the same part. That's you okay. You know what I did one time. Speaking of that, way 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 back, I sang at a, a friend's wedding. I didn't want to because mm -hmm. I was scared to death. This was years and years ago, and she begged me. I said, okay, but it was. Um, Oh, help me, help me. It's, um, da 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 dee 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 The Carpenters. Um, okay. We've only just begun. Okay. Okay? But there was that one part, and I could not remember the words, so I said, Sharing a laughter and a joke or two. <laughs> <laughs> and you were thinking, I think those are the actual lyrics. Uh-uh. Oh, no. no, and there went this way. Oh, no. So then, but this was at her wedding. And I know the audience was out there going, you have got to be kidding me. And I felt but horrified. But are just bizarre like that. I was at one, we're all sitting there, and no one dismissed us. The person was like, y'all can go now. And yeah. <laughs> we were wondering, like, we're all sitting, okay, the wedding party left, and we're like. But we want a party. We want when, to, when can we go party and do the open bar? Can we finish this drink before we go? Right. Like, we're just, you know, another step. What do you like about Cindy Lou Who? What, what's your, <sighs> about Cindy? The thing, kind of what I mentioned earlier, the mm -hmm. thing I really do like about her is she, she's she been through it. Mm -hmm. And there's one thing that I love about the script, and actually it's the rap song, I'll put that in quotes, right. obviously, being a white girl. <laughs> but um, the, the words right at the end are so awesome and, and so pertinent mm -hmm. today. And um, it's something about, say, you know, why can't we just let people be who they be? Exactly. Just, yes, and it goes on and on about that. Just who cares about different types of loves, couples, whatever. Just leave it be. Just let it alone. And that's her whole outlook on life. As long as people are happy, and as long as there's love out there in the world, and as long as you're just careful, you know, it, it can be a good life. And even, a, and even when you make mistakes, you exactly. come right back. Accepting of people. Her. Like, exactly. we accept people. Exactly. I've always had the word tolerance. I will tolerate that my knee hurts. Yeah. I will tolerate that it is cold outside. Baby, it's, it's cold, cold outside. outside. Yeah, exactly. But, like, you should accept people. Mm -hmm. Faults and all sometimes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just the Grinch it. is green, and she right? took him on. So exactly. She, sure. She's very open-minded. I have fond memories because I grew up watching the original Warner Brothers cartoon with Boris Karloff Absolutely. and hearing him read that and just in my head... That's the whole, it's a classic, and I love I it. I do, too. I do, too. And then they've got the new movie coming out, there's Disney's. This will be the second 
Grinch movie. There was okay. the one with Jim Carrey. Carrey, there was the live one. Um, then there was the original show, obviously, but this is right. the another animated one. Right. And I think it's Disney, am I right? DreamWorks. DreamWorks, sorry. DreamWorks. Oh, sure. That's sorry. okay. You know, yeah, they all, yeah. Uh, I think they all got the same animation studio going. Okay. It looks about the same. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a great, like, another retelling for audiences, and they're trying to give you more mm -hmm. background about who the Grinch is, which is fantastic. Yeah, and I've heard good things about it. Here's the interesting thing about this script, and mm -hmm. people might know this already, they might not. Um, and I understand. Um, apparently, the writer, Matthew Lombardo. Yes. <laughs> want to make sure I get that right, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hi. How are you? Um, Lombardo. Um, apparently had to fight uh, to get the rights to this. Um, because, you know, I understand. They're taking it and they're putting a lot of nasty stuff in well, it. Because it's like children's time. books and whatever. Exactly. And I'm going... But it's a show for grown-ups. This exactly. isn't something you're not you're not gonna be like, hey kids, let's go see this thing yeah. about seeing you growing up and living in a trailer. I mean you have to learn about life sooner or later, so but, you might you know, they're like now. you. Yeah. It's so. like taking your kid to go see Deadpool when they're three. Thank you. And they do. What? And they're running up and down the aisles and you're trying no. to enjoy and no, you no, pay no. fifteen bucks, you know. Right, you yeah, pay good money. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. It drives me nuts. But yeah, he won, obviously. Oh yeah, oh. And it's a great, it's a great show. I laughed. Oh good, because you good, get good. all this stuff. Because you're going, you always want to wonder what happened to somebody. Like, I mean, Steely, what happened to her when she grew up, or what happened to Charlie Brown when he grew up? Exactly. What happens when these people grow up? Exactly. Well, from Christmas on the Rocks, Rocks that was done those. here about yes. two or three years ago, and we were talking. So this is sort of an extension of that, but it's all about Cindy Lou Who, and it just pulls it out longer. Um, Longer. And that is kind of <laughs> longer. longer. Get it? I mean, yeah, what's work later? Once you've you gone Jade. Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, there's some Jade in your hair. Yes, I'm right. just saying. Um, and, but yeah, so it's more about Justin E. Lou Who, obviously. Yeah. Um, whereas Christmas on the Rocks was a, pulling from several different characters. But it's such a cool idea to it do is, that. It is, because as a kid growing up, really, I always wondered, like, later on, whatever happened to you? Now, besides the, the Grinch Soul Christmas, mm -hmm. into that time of year, do you have a favorite Christmas movie besides mm. The Grinch Tales of Christmas because there's so many out there now. It's a weird little and some people know about it some people don't. It's a 30 minute long special that came out maybe God I want to say 20, 15, 20 years ago okay. something like that. Claymation Christmas are you familiar with that? Yes! With the raisins yes, 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 and, yes. and the different artists and everything. Oh my God it so, is so good. People ask my, my I've seen people asking for that movie. Mm -hmm. like, okay hang on so we can get it. Yes. But you have your favorite holiday movies. I have a couple. Mm -hmm. um, of course, like The Grinch. The Grinch. Mm -hmm. um, I love the He-Man, She-Ra Christmas special. <laughs> I can't say I've heard that. It's, what is it? It came out for the She-Ra Christmas special. <laughs> and Skeletor <gasps> saves her. Okay. He's like, I'm not nice. I must save these children. Oh, what is this feeling? <laughs> Why is that? Like, Skeletor, that's the Christmas... This is great. Oh my god. This is great. And of course, Emmett Otter Jug Band Christmas makes me cry. Oh, of course. Of course. You know, we, and you know, winter, you know, White Christmas, you know, Bing Crosby. Beautiful. Beautiful. There, Beautiful. You know, One of my favorites is Little Drummer Boy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Although we throw a little tidbit of his in the show, right? which is terrible. Just awful. Terrible, terrible. No little drummer boy of mine would ever behave that way. But just, my little drummer boy does. <laughs> ah, that's what she said. That's right. <laughs> All right, because it's Christmas, you know, we all get, um, when do you put your tree up? I'm sorry? Christmas tree, when do you put yours up? It depends. It could be, we never, ever, as much as we want to, we never get it done on Thanksgiving weekend. Okay. Some people are so good about that. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, boom, we never do that. Sometimes, if we are doing well, it's the week right after Thanksgiving. Okay. There have been a couple times when it's been, like, the week right before Christmas. Well, know? that's cool, because I'm, I'm. When we used to do trees, like the live tree, mm -hmm. you went out Thanksgiving weekend, you tagged the tree, then a couple weeks later you went back and cut yeah, the tree yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. True, true. We don't do that anymore. Yeah, we understand yeah. trees, yeah. yes. <laughs> we have a nice artificial tree with good the good. LED lights good and everything. It folds up, stays in a box. LED is very good. Well, I had yes. to do lights, the other ones died. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how that happens. Like, oh, I need it new ones. It does. It does happen. But, um, do you know what happened to our tree? No. When we put a dead tree out, of course, at mm -hmm. the end of the season, and, and then there was, um, for some reason, we left it in our backyard, because we have a lot of crap back there, and and then finally we decided, okay, early spring, let's let's get rid of it. Well, I went to move it. Um, I had no idea that this close to my hand, there was a baby cop copperhead? Yeah, the that's what's it. The yeah. critters had moved in. Uh-huh. And, and just as I was about to move it, 
my husband David was like, no! Yes, we've opened the victim what? up. Let's bring yeah. the decorations in off the deck, and then I had that same thing when, what's that on my floor? Oh, no. Let me poke that with a stick. No, you did I'm not. Like, and I am outside in my underwear, cell phone in a hand, <laughs> rug beater in the other, calling animal control. They're like, how do we know it's your house? I'm the half-naked man in oh my underwear God. with a cell phone and a rug beater. You Running around going, ah! Girl, there's a snake in my house. Holy Come get it. Holy crap. You know. Did they I, say what kind it was? That so he said, what kind is I don't know, dude. It's 50 feet long. It ate my cat. Get Just it out. get in my house. Oh, my God. He's like, how big is the snake? I don't know. Here. It's huge. It comes out. It's a little brown snake. I'm like, well, girl, you got a story to tell now. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, well, thank you very much. And you know what? Better safe than sorry. Right. I'm like, I didn't. It came in. You what know? do they do? They say, okay, if you look at the shape of the head, I can and see the shape of his head. I am way too close. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. Anyway. All right. Mm -hmm. Christmas gifts. Yes, sir. Um, what is your? What is the best Christmas gift you ever got as a kid? Like you were like, yes, oh I, Santa gosh. was good to me. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, the puppy. <gasps> I did. I got All a right. dog. You got the puppy. And and you know what we named him? What? You like this? Weenie. Oh god. <laughs> he was a dachshund. He was a dachshund. Did we him Weenie? He was so cute. He really was. He really. He was the best dog ever. He really was. But you know what I never got for Christmas that what? I really wanted? Malibu Barbie or Ballerina Barbie? No. Do you remember? Now you're younger than me, so you might not. But it was that the bouncing horse that on the wheels. Marvel the Mustang. Yes. I remember those. Because it seemed like a big wheel and all those yes. things. Yes. And you would bounce it. It would take you along the road. I never got that, and I was so disappointed. Marvel, the Mustang, do, 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 whatever it was. You right. know what I'm talking about. I mean, about. those, those okay. great toys that they don't make yeah. now because no. they're saying they're not safe for children. That was a good But toy. those were good toys. That was awesome. Oh, my God, yes. Yep. Oh, and then I really got into those uh, moon shoes. The moon shoes. Moon did the Yeah, yeah. Piece of the crap. Right. But Christmas morning, fodder like, ah, eh, five minutes later, out with the box. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> Where's the box? The box is really cool. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Let's see. Totally. Um, yes. We always sat down for like a holiday, like Christmas dinner at my, mm -hmm. at my grandmother's house, and Gaga was amazing. Ah. Um, she could burn Jello, <laughs> so there was always a burnt offering every Christmas. Burnt offering. She burnt Jello. That's a new Christmas movie. Christmas burnt offering. You need to do that. There we go. Chris so, excuse me. Your grandmother was called Gaga. Gaga. Yes, my Gaga was what the original a lady. Grandma. She was the first lady Gaga. She was a clothes horse. She was a theater maid. Go Dave girl. Founded a theater company, some symphonies. So that's where this came from. A lot of this, yeah. Yeah. She was a force of nature. Wow. When I was younger, I swore she was in Dora. <laughs> Mom, why are you afraid of your grandmother? She's on TV. I love that. She had the same calf down, would do the thing. I'm like, she's a witch. Now, was this your mother's mother? Mm -hmm. Okay. They this, sound this like is... adorable women. Well, they were, they were, they're, they're a treat. Um, Holy cow. And they really now, are. now, Grandma Russell, mm -hmm. however, calm. who lived. Right around the corner. Mm -hmm. The both grandmothers lived pretty much Dang. literally right down the street. You wow. went up and so if you saw one, there was no excuse not to go see the other. Yeah, that's Because you're pretty much you're within They would know. Spent, oh they did. They, oh they, 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 they knew. knew. They would know. Because the same Kroger was right there at the corner and like, oh And you wouldn't hear the end of it. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Make sure Why you guys do you, both. you come see me? But grandma grandma was the one who could make like pies and jams and things. So you're kinda like we're gonna get a grandma's or Gaga's. Yeah, which one is the <laughs> You have the fashion and the food. We're doing both. That's great. Because you're going, you know, you won't go hungry at grandma's. <laughs> There's cookies. The whole and thing. did they always have out that little glass bowl with the old-fashioned candy? They both did. They yeah, both yeah, had yeah, the. Yeah, the yeah. They're like going. Yeah, a, and some would get stuck. This together. is an Agatha Christie murder weapon. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to. Ah! Oh, yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yes there exactly. <laughs> Do you have um, what was what was your favorite Christmas memory? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a toughie. All right, give me a second. Hmm, favorite Christmas memory. I'm going to get all profound. Okay. I think my favorite Christmas memory is yet to come. There you go. No. Is that a good answer? That's a very good answer. Because I can't think of You get of points for that. All right, yes. Is the Christmas <laughs> yet to come? Christmas yet to I come. I love everyone in my family. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. I know people get... Shouldn't there be music and snow falling right now? I can now? hear some, like, people are like... <laughs> it's Georgia Roger Farmer's on stage. Yeah, she is fabulous. I know we're getting too loud. And Josh. Josh is the company. You get two shows at the price of one. Excellent stuff. Do you have a favorite Christmas song? Oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. Christmas shoes. I'm kidding. No. That one drives me nuts. Although, you know what I'm talking about? Mama 
Um, I need new shoes for when Mama meets Jesus tonight. I don't know this one. Oh, my God. It's been out for maybe five years, maybe more. Okay. But it drives me nuts, but at the same time, if I get caught listening to it, I'm ending up bawling. It's just ridiculous. I'm going to Google that. You know, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, you have to. The Christmas shoes. It's it's one of those country stuff. Okay. And then I also, the other one that I shouldn't like, but I do. Mary, did you know? Okay. Your baby boy. You know, I know. It being silly. No, because we have our friend. But then I love Carol of the Bells. All right. Love that one. Because you get into these just like things you want to do at Christmas, and the songs mm -hmm. you want to hear, and things. Mm -hmm. In the mood, you know. Do you have any like traditions your family does that people probably look at? What are they doing? Mm -hmm. Ours was being from Western Pennsylvania, and a Protestant family. Yes. We would drive around looking for all the plastic nativity scenes on the Catholic homes. <laughs> would you steal things? No, 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 no. Because no, we would drive around. We wanted to see, and we would do this. We did this for years when we would we'd go home to, to Butler, and we noticed there were fewer and fewer. Uh -huh. So just for fun. I'll, I've been trying to find a plastic light-up nativity scene to yeah. put up because I'm like, this is the greatest thing ever. No, that's true. That's it's a good point. But it was just one of those things you did, and we moved to the south, and we went looking, going, we're not finding it. We're finding lots finding of lights, and we're finding lots of, lot of but we're not seeing a lot of plastic nativity scenes. Every like, now and then. Every now and you'll then. You'll find right. one, and you're like, Catholic family, yes. Yes, exactly. Well, if you go to the local church, they have, like, the living nativity. It's not the same. No, it's not. Something about having, like, the three wise men molded in <laughs> illuminate plastic going, this is, I am not being sacrilegious. Yes, this he is. This is a family totally tradition. Totally is. And, we and you know what? Cheers it. to that. But fun. you would like my husband. Okay. Because he, we have a life-size, some people know this, we have a life-size cow fiberglass okay. in our front yard. So as many seasons as possible, we try to dress her up. Christmas, absolutely. So there's always something, whether it's a nativity or whether she's Santa with the sleigh and, you know, Grinch is next to her. Yeah, whatever. That's so, fun. Yeah, maybe we can put her in a big nativity. Big nativity. Just for you. That's you right. You do that for you? Do the nativity, yes. Okay. Yes, that'd be fantastic. Okay, good. I'll do that. Oh, and we have a big boy statue who could be the baby, Jesus. All right. But he's already got his food because he has the hamburger. For the hamburger. Yeah. All right, there we go. Okay. That's perfect. That's yeah. going to be. We got that, it. We're that right. will be on the tour. That's the thing to see. Tacky, tacky, tacky. Right. Yes, indeed. Because that's what makes it fun. I agree. It's all about tackiness. Okay. This has been absolutely This has been wonderful. delightful. You're a treat. Well, thank you. You really are. So it is whose holiday? Here I don't know who. I don't know who. Uh -huh. At Richmond Triangle Players, yes. Robert B. Moss. Theater, mm -hmm. which is a really long title, yes, which I have to remember some days, um, with Kimberly Jones Clark, and it runs through December fifteenth. Mm -hmm. Tickets are at rtriangle.org. Well, I'm Eric Russell. I've been out and about with Miss Kimberly Jones Clark. Happy Who Holidays, mm -hmm. Bear Hug. Ah, thank you so you much. You never know where I'll turn up next. So see you next time. We bow to thank the. You. We bow thank to you. the. <laughs>